Yeah. Tell me what you know, cause we all got a part. I'll connect through the ohm and align with my heart. I will not be a drone. I'll be straight like a dart as I aim for my throne, and we're all gonna start. But first off, I just want to say congrats on your uh, massive growth in your channel. Um, I remember when I first subbed to you, you had like 50 subs, and now you're almost like, what, 1,500? So congrats on the growth, man. Um, what I wanted to talk about, obviously, is the Square Enix rank you have. The problem is twofold. It's not just game companies trying to expand. There's nothing wrong with it as a business owner. I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to bring in new users into your core business model. The problem is, in the same regard, they're alienating their core users to go after that new business. It, it, to them, it seems like a catch-22. To me, it's basic business. As a, I'll tell you right now, as a business owner, I'll take three jobs for my regulars as opposed to one that will pay really, really big. The thing is, and I'll tell you why, it's branding. Products and services I offer on one brand are not the same as those that I offer on my core brand. So, it's a, <laughs> what the game companies are doing is just dumb. It's name association, it's word association, it's image association, it's logo association. <clears throat> when I think, and to an extent, I'm not saying the best extent, but somewhat American companies more than the Japanese companies have understood that a little more um, in their separation of products and branding. You know, EA with any RPG type games are done and developed by Bioware, published under that brand. So when I think Square Enix, I think RPGs. Yet, if someone had mentioned like a company that Square owns, like IDOS, well, I really wouldn't think RPGs. Because you can draw people in from that IDOS brand into your, you know, Final Fantasy brand that you've established on your Square Enix, you know, branding. You can draw those in into your core product just by offering good experiences with that first product that they've experienced under that other brand that you still own and they know you own. That's how you you become and grow your base. So right now it's just bad branding images. It, it, people don't get it. You have your core audience that you're alienating. So you, you're chasing after this mythological thing called a casual user that doesn't really exist. Because no one knows what the hell a casual user is or a mainstream user is. It's marketing hype. It's BS. And for me, like I said, I take three regular, you know, jobs that I do on my core business over that one that might come in from my other brand that I have because those three regulars are the ones that really pay my bills yeah that one job might pay more but on the same note I'm not going to alienate my other three you know my three consumers because of that one that you know will be okay yeah it's nice to have a bigger paycheck for okay a week you know, it's just dumb. That's dumb business. So, to the game companies, it's fix your branding. Learn to establish different brands for different products. To companies, again, don't alienate core users from your core product. Don't make your core product try to fit something that doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, guys. It really doesn't. If anyone spends more than five hours a week doing something, that is a hobby. That is what they do. I'm a gamer. I spend more than five hours a week gaming. I do, I'm a videographer. I do more than five hours of video. Not always five hours more of video that I publish, but I do five hours or more a week of video. I'm a biker during the, well, up here at least during the good months. I ride more than five hours a week. It, 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 it's what you spend your time doing. So stop alienating your core, your core audience and your core demographic with your core products. Experiment using other brands and chasing after that mythological creature that doesn't exist. Because you're better off there doing that than alienating a consistent stream of revenue, which you're doing. So that's my take on it as for 
to those that watch. You guys know what to do. Rate it, subscribe. Peace.